Welcome to the Allegheny County Library System video instruction series, Introduction to Microsoft Word 2010, Lesson 3. Formatting text and copying and pasting. With Microsoft Word 2010, it is very easy to format your text. Before formatting any text, you must remember that the text must be selected. And by that I mean you can click and drag your cursor so that all text is highlighted. You can also click to in front of a line and as you can see that the text is also highlighted and also notice that there is a small ghostly image of a toolbar that appears and then if you move your cursor close to it you can also use this little toolbar so that you can format your text you could use the B for bold the I for underline, I'm sorry, for italic, the U for underline. You can also change the color of your font. As you can see, of course, by default it, it is black, but if you could choose the A with red underline to turn it red, or you could choose the arrow to the right of this small tool option and you can see that there are theme colors you can choose from or standard colors and if you can see behind this little color box it's very hard to see but as you move your cursor over the theme colors you can actually see your text changing and that is what's called live view to actually lock in a color choice you need to actually click on that and the highlight is still being shown at the moment because that line has been selected but if I click anywhere outside of that line of text I'm just going to click in the blank area of the document you can see that now your text has been italicized and underlined and the text color changed. You can also use your ribbon to choose that same formatting in the font segment of your ribbon on the home tab. Again, you select a line or a paragraph by clicking and dragging your cursor and your mouse across the text and you can go to the font segment of the toolbar you can click the arrow to the right of the font style that it has been defaulted to and you can run your cursor down over and across the other fonts. Remember these are alphabetized. You can use your arrow to move on down to see the other fonts or you can click and drag the scroll box down until you find a particular type font that you would like to use again you can see the live view kicking in and it helps you visually see what that type font would look like before you actually choose it there are many script fonts there are fonts with serifs and sans serifs 
there are bold and condensed fonts to choose from that may lend itself more to a title in your document than say the actual body text. I'm going to choose Lucida Bright and I'm going to click on that font style. Notice the paragraph is still highlighted so I can go up and choose a different font size. I click the arrow to the right of the font size chosen by default or set by default and as you can see you can choose 8 point which would be better for captions under documents or moving the cursor down over you can see you can set it even at 72 which lends itself again more to titles in your document. I'm going to choose a 12 point and I'm going to click again in the body of my document. I'm going to hit my enter button several times just to move my cursor down the page and I'm going to type in the word title. I'm going to double click in front of this word to highlight it. I've selected it and I'm going to go up to the font section again and I'm going to click B for bold. I'm going to choose a different font style by clicking the arrow to the right of the Times News Roman. I'm going to click Algerian and then I'm going to choose a larger font size. I've clicked the small down pointing arrow and I'm going to choose 48. I've also decided I want to change the color of the text. So I'm going to click the arrow beside the font color and I'm going to choose a bright red for my title. I'm going to click on that bright red. As you can see the highlighting, the selection it is still selected so it still has the blue highlighting on it. And I'm also going to choose a text effect to my title. I'm going to click the text effect button, the little arrow, and you can see as you move your cursor over the options, you can see your actual title change. You can choose an outline, a shadow effect, a reflection, or a glowing effect. Uh, I, I, for this example, I'm going to choose a shadow to the outer part. I'm going to click on that. Very easy to change or redo or undo your choices. If I decided I did not want that particular shadow effect, I could go up to my customize quick access toolbar and I could choose the undo shadow. This uh, Using this button takes you back one step at a time or you could click the down pointing arrow and go back even further than one step at a time. So if I didn't want that shadow I would choose the undo button and then I could go back to the text effect and I could choose a different effect for my title. And I'm going to lock that in by clicking on it. It's also very easy to create bullets or numbers in your document. I've moved my cursor a little bit further down my page 
by hitting the enter button several times and I'm going to go up to the button the bullet buttons up in my paragraph seg segment or section and I could choose the bullets which are presented here just a nice plain bullet or if I so wanted I could click the down pointing arrow and choose a different type of bullet or I could even define a new bullet and set it. I'm going to go with the just the chosen bullets, the simple bullets. As you can see it's placed a bullet in my document. I'm going to type the word one which is very hard to see. Let me select that and choose a different type point to make that more simple to see. There we go. And after I type in the word I'm going to hit the enter key. Notice it has placed the next bullet in place for me. I'm going to type my next word. Again I hit the enter key and as you can see the bullets are placed in a line for you. Uh, to remove the bulleting formatting I could just click the enter key twice and then the bulleting formatting is gone. Again very easy. Um, if I so wanted I could also choose numbering instead. As you can see you can start a numbered list or you have choices for Roman numerals or you can choose letters and again that just places it in your document again you could just type hit your enter key and again the same continues another handy tool in the paragraph section is the A to Z feature which alphabetizes the selected text or sorts. So if I highlighted this section of my text and I clicked on the A to Z feature, it's going to give me a selection. Um, the dialog box comes up and of course it asks me to sort by what and I'm going to leave it as it, as it is here. And I'm going to choose um, OK, but also I want to point out you can choose ascending or descending depending on um, how you want your text sorted. So I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, um, it has alphabetized it. My O's are together and then my T's. This is a handy tool for creating lists and then alphabetizing them as well. Another handy tool in this section is the select button. And the select button, if you need to copy, say, all the text within your document, you could click select all and then all is highlighted. So if I chose that and then I clicked in my clipboard section the word the um, option to copy. So I've copied all the text I've selected. I'm going to click in an area of my document to define where I want my text to be copied to. So as you can see from this area, this is where the text will be copied to. And then I'm going to click my paste button the top part of my paste button. The bottom part of your paste button will give you different options to keep the source formatting or merge formatting or even keeping the text only. I'm just going to choose the top part of the paste button and then as you can see it has copied the same information that was on the top part of my document that I had selected and then it has copied it again. Very easy to copy and paste. Also 
um, cutting and paste is very similar. You highlight the text that you wish to cut which, or remove. I'm going to choose cut. You see the little icon of the scissors. When I cut the text, it will disappear. And then I need to choose a place in my document to paste that to. So now I'm going to click the word paste, the button paste. And I have cut some of my text and placed it in a different area of my document. very handy tool say if you wanted to put your essay or document in chronological order it was out of order you can cut and paste that so that it is in order again